Hello my friends, this is David Ha'ivri, your Israel tour guide to continue on our series of video tours. Currently in Jerusalem, uh, I will do this uh, short video uh, in the center of Jerusalem. I'm on King George Street and Ben Yehuda. Do you see the blue entrance here uh, with the name Ben Yehuda? And the drawing on the side, uh, the drawing of the, the portrait of uh, Eliezer ben Yehuda, who is uh, considered to be the father of modern uh, spoken uh, Hebrew. Uh, he lived here in Jerusalem. He, he wrote uh, uh, dictionaries and helped uh, develop uh, new uh, modern words for modern items, taking the biblical and uh, uh, scholarly Hebrew that had been preserved throughout the ages and uh, turning that into a modern spoken language. So this is the Ben Yehuda uh, pedestrian walk. At one time, historically, it was a street, uh, but uh, back in the, probably in the 1970s, uh, or maybe more, it was closed off to traffic and turned into a pedestrian mall. It's very uh, well known in Israel. It's part of the Jerusalem Triangle. The center of Jerusalem Triangle uh, is considered to be this street, Ben Yehuda. The street here is King George Street. And uh, at the, the end of King George Street, at the intersection below, uh, just beyond the bus number 77 if you can see the red light the red traffic light is the intersection of King George and Jaffa Street and then uh, Jaffa Street again meets Ben Yehuda at uh, the end of this street at Cape Carcion, the Zion Square now here across the street you can see the WeWork building. I just saw an announcement that WeWork is going bankrupt. Has anyone heard about that? That's pretty interesting. I imagine that that's a WeWork International. A, if anyone knows about that and would like to share any thoughts, please let me know. In any case, this building to Jerusalemites is known as the Old Majbir. The Majbir is a uh, one of Israel's first shopping cent uh, uh, shopping uh, uh, I'm trying to think of the word in English of a a, a store that uh, has the, all of the different uh, products, cosmetics and clothing and shoes and in any case uh, this building for many many years served as the building of the Majbir in Jerusalem uh, it uh, moved to a different location at the end of Ben Yehuda Street uh, at uh, Zion Square. I'm not sure if we will make it all the way to Zion Square today on today's tour. But in any case, the, the WeWork building and Renoir and the Foot Locker underneath uh, on the bottom floors or the first two floors uh, is in the building that at one time was the home of the Majbir. And uh, here is a very interesting item. Do you see this uh, wall across the street with a, an arched passageway and a clock in its uh, middle and a, like a chimney next to it? This is a, a strange structure, you might say. Uh, and what, what does this structure represent? not actually a building it's just a, a wall or a wall and a half it was the top of a, a building that stood here in place of this WeWork building and the Lev Yerushalayim apartment hotel next door there was an orphanage that was built here in the 19th century it was designed by the Jerusalem architect Conrad Schick who was very famous during the second part of the 19th century 
as a scholar, an archaeologist, and an architect. And he planned many of the magnificent buildings of Jerusalem at that time. So he built a orphanage here for girls. Uh, and uh, you see the sign, it says Talitha Kumi. I'm not sure if that was the name, maybe that was the name of the orphanage. In any case, this uh, structure was the top, on the top floor of the building. So when they knocked down the building in order to build these new buildings, at that time Jerusalem did not have a did not have any laws protecting the uh, historical buildings. Uh, the builders of the new building, the developers, thought that it would be nice to save just a part of the building, and they reconstructed this part. Imagine that originally it was on the top of the, say, third floor of the building that stood here. They knocked down the whole building and they reconstructed this part and left it as a, a monument or as a decoration for the street in Jerusalem. Interestingly, in the 1980s, before there was social media and Facebook, this uh, Talita Kumi, it was, uh, there was a radio show in Jerusalem. Try to imagine back then when there was no internet, no email, no WhatsApp, uh, no uh, Facebook groups. Say a, a guy was on a public bus and he met a girl and spoke with her on the bus. But, and then he got off the bus, or the other way around, she got off the bus and uh, one of them uh, reconsidered their mistake of not getting the uh, phone number of the the other part of the pair to continue that discussion and relationship. Uh, there was a radio show on Fridays in Jerusalem called Talita Kumi and people could uh, send a message to the show and they could say, uh, uh, I'm a, a young guy, uh, say a soldier, I was on the bus on Wednesday and I met a girl with a red shirt and uh, I didn't get her phone number. And if you're listening to this uh, message, then why don't you meet me next Friday at 2 o'clock at Talita Kumi. So this place was the, the meeting place for that uh, renewed rendezvous. All right, we're looking here at King George Street and we're going to turn off and walk along Ben Yehuda Street. You see the sign above us, the road sign, King George V. By the way, my friends, as I mentioned, my name is David Haivri. I am your Israel tour guide. Feel free to uh, message me if you need any advice regarding the plan for your tour to Israel. Hopefully soon we will have better times and uh, you will be able to resume your plans for touring Israel. I look, I look forward to that. If you need a tour guide for your visit, I would uh, love to uh, work with you. Uh, you can uh, message me about that too and we can discuss ideas for, for your tour to Israel. We're walking along Ben Yehuda Street Today is uh, Wednesday, uh, the 1st of November. I will be uploading this tour onto uh, YouTube and my social media channels. We're coming up to Hahista Drut Street. Hahista Drut is the workers' union in Israel and at the end of this street, to my right, there is a building that at one time was a hotel and uh, later became the main headquarters for the main offices for the workers' union for the Histadrut. It's uh, pretty sure it's the building ahead of us to the right 
with the brown bars on the windows. Sometime we might speak about the history of the hotel there. There's a very interesting story that has to do with Israel's first general, a David, David Marcus, Mickey Marcus, Mickey Stone, who was an American Jewish a officer in the American army and he came to Israel in 1948 to offer his support to the establishment of the IDF of Israel's army. And there is a story that uh, connects to the hotel. I think it was the Eden Hotel that uh, stood there. That was in the same, same building that is now the uh, Histadrut offices. There are a lot of uh, souvenir gift shops, kipot stores, Guns and Moses, Hard Rock, Cafe, Jerusalem. Here's a type of water fountain that was donated by France to uh, the people of Israel. There is an identical uh, water fountain in Haifa at Paris Square. We are coming up to Ben Hillel Street. I know it's pretty confusing in Israel in general and in Jerusalem in particular there are uh, many streets that have similar names David is a very popular name so there could be different streets we have the King David Street the King David Hotel is, is located on the King David Street and we have the uh, David Street uh, but there's also the David Marcus Street. I just uh, spoke about David Marcus. He was the first general in the Israeli army. We're now on Ben Hillel Street, which crosses over Ben Hillel, crosses over Hillel. There you see this, the street sign in Hebrew ahead of us, Ben Hillel 12. Oh, so it's, no, it's Ben Hillel crosses over Ben Yehuda. It becomes confusing because two streets over from Ben Yehuda is Hillel. Parallel to Ben Yehuda is the Hillel Street. And crossing over Ben Yehuda is the Ben Hillel Street. So uh, that can be confusing. <laughs> On the Ben Yehuda Street, you can see that there are cafes and gelato, coffee, and toys and gifts for kids, cosmetics. Pretty lively, fun area to walk around to see people feel some of the Jerusalem atmosphere. The Kofix is like a fixed price or a low cost coffee shop. You can see that the, some of the buildings along this road uh, are in the process of uh, expansion. In Israel today, there is a program called Tama 38, where older buildings in the urban areas uh, are either taken down to make room for higher buildings. So here you see that these buildings from the 1950s or before they, they have four stories, but uh, now Jerusalem needs more space. So they're building on top of them, buildings with 10 stories. The Tama 38 is either a, a program to 
um, build on top of old buildings to add more floors or a pinui binui, a removal and building where older buildings are taken down and new buildings are built in their place. And one of the major uh, the, the deciding factors is the historical relevance of the building. So here you see in this building, for instance, Ben Yehuda number no. four, the Ibis Hotel, Styles. Ibis has a couple of hotels here in the center of Jerusalem. Uh, there are three floors that are part of the historical building. One, two, three. You can see the special doorways and arches that uh, date back to the 1920s and 30s. Uh, and then on top of the historical roof, you see the, the, colored, uh, the colored wall. And then above that, another, which is another floor, and above that, another five floors. So th this building, on top of the three original floors, has got an upgrade of six more floors. And this was uh, all, uh, all expanded by the hotel. In regular times, Jerusalem is in need of more hotel rooms because of all of the incoming tourism. Now, during the Gaza war, there is a, there's no tourism, a, but a, many of the hotels are housing a, evacuees, people who were evacuated from their homes in the Gaza southern region, the western Negev, or in the northern region. So there are about 15,000 Israelis from those areas who are now being hosted in hotels. Here right ahead of us you can see a construction area, a, an old building or a number of old buildings that have been taken down and a new complex will be built in its place. But when this is ready, a, all of the old historical building will be restored. If you notice along the wall of the historical building that was dissembled, you might see to the right, you might see numbers on the building stones, the outer case of the Jerusalem stone. Those are numbers that were marked in order to uh, be able to puzzle back together the stones of the building, the stones of the historical building in order to uh, reconstruct it into the newer building. Now, I'm looking up Ben Yehuda. We walk down this road. I'm going to take you over to the corner of uh, the corner of Ben Yehuda, and I'm not sure what the crossroad here is called, but uh, notice the. Uh, artwork on the shutter doors of this uh, store. To the left, you can see the huge menorah, the seven branch menorah, which is the menorah of the Beit HaMikdash, of the temple. It's not the Hanukkah menorah that has nine branches. If we go closer into the gift shop, we can see many uh, different artistic menorahs uh, that have nine branches. Those are the menorah that we light on the, the holiday of uh, Hanukkah. And the seven branch menorah that we see in this uh, painting by Salomon Sauza um, represents the menorah that stood in the Migdash, in the temple in Jerusalem. And the painting to the right with the blue figure and the red figure, I think, represents the, the war, the battle between the good and bad. Salomon Sauza, the Jerusalem street artist, has more uh, of such 
uh, artwork at the Machane Yehuda Shuk. Uh, of course, he has many, many paintings in Machane Yehuda Shuk. Uh, some of them also represent the battle between the, the dark and the light. All right, my friends, we're coming up to the Zion Square ahead of us. As I mentioned earlier, we're in the Jerusalem Triangle. We started off at the corner of Ben Yehuda and King George. And now we're at the end of Ben Yehuda, on the northern side of Ben Yehuda, where Ben Yehuda meets Jaffa Street at the Zion Square. The Zion Square is a, a great meeting place. You can see the municipality built this urban park with a nice amount of sitting area. These uh, stages are actually large benches. People can sit around and very often will find uh, street musicians here play, playing music. Mm -hmm. All right, my friends, that, that is it for today's tour. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please share it with your friends and uh, follow my channels for more video tours from Jerusalem. God bless.